To set up Chatterbox on your new pager, insert an empty compatible SD card, 32 gigabytes or less. See the website for the list of compatible cards. Plug in a USB data cable, not a charging cable, and connect it to your computer. Next, put the device in boot mode by holding down the middle button, which is the boot button, and then tapping the reset button on the left. Now the device is in boot mode. With the pager connected and in boot mode, uh, go to the firmware download site. You can find links on chatters.io. So choose to download the firmware for the pager and select Lily Go Pager. Click connect. This will look different depending on your operating system, but you should see your device connected on USB. So I'll say connect, install. You don't have to erase the device. And this should take just a minute. Okay, that's good. Okay, the pager is now flashed. Unplug it and restart it, pushing the reset button. Okay, so it's starting up and this part may take a minute uh, i'm in eastern standard time i am doing daylight savings time i'm just going to call this pager when i'm done typing move it one click the buttons activate and deactivate so they're active now i'm going to join an existing private cluster not as the root Now I am ready to onboard this pager to my existing cluster. So I'm going to go into the settings, this button. On this, on this one you can see I've got the C in parentheses. So I'm going to tap the uh, C button to switch to cluster. All right, and I'm going to use the scroll wheel to find join a cluster. On my root device, go into the settings, choose cluster on border device. Okay, so now that's waiting for the pager, and now I'll go ahead and click join a cluster. And this can uh, take a minute or two. But now I can, you can see they're starting to exchange information. So I'm just going to let this go. I walked away for a minute and they got done. They restart when they're, the onboard is finished. Uh, so the root should now see the pager. Yep, there it is. Okay. I've got lots of devices in my cluster. All those devices I already have don't know anything about this pager. So for them to start communicating, they'll need to exchange public keys to trust one another. That happens automatically, but it can take a while, and I can speed that up. I'm going to go ahead and have this thing broadcast its key to everyone. Right there. Okay, so I'm going to broadcast my identity. As it's queued, I can go back home. There it went. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that a couple more times. Okay, so I went the second one. I'm going to see if this T deck knows the pager. Yep, it knows the pager now. Okay. This one knows about the pager now. This can share that identity with any other devices. So this can propagate the public key of the pager. Okay, so here's another TDEC. Uh, I can see it knows the pager. The most powerful device I have is my base station. 
I'm going to make sure my base station knows about the pager. And the way that I can do that is I can ask it to tell me its neighbors. So if it sends me back the name pager, then I know for sure it recognizes the pager. And my base station also has a proximity sensor, which is why it shows that running guy. Yep, pager. Okay, my main device knows the identity, so everything should happen pretty quickly after that. 